we are going to hope and pray that my camera battery lives through this because I already filmed this intro once, but my audio recorder was not fully plugged in, so there was no audio. We're going to do this again. Hello, if you don't know me, my name is Spirit, and this is going to be a very chaotic, um, kind of prep for SAC anime vlog. Con crunch, if you would. Today is August 1st. On is in a month. I believe exactly a month. I can't remember the exact dates for SAC anime, but I believe this year it's the 1st through the 3rd of September. So we have exactly a month in order to get these cosplays done. Most of them are already done. My Saturday and Sunday and Thursday cosplays are pretty much 100% done. Um, the only thing I need to do for those is style wigs and order a few last minute things. But what we need to work on is my Tears of the Kingdom Zelda cosplay for my Legend of Zelda group that we are doing on Friday of Sack Anime. Really, I'm just going to be altering my ceremonial dress Zelda, which I'll probably throw up on screen, because the dress that she wears in Tears of the Kingdom is extremely similar with just some extra stuff, so I'm going to try and do that. Spoiler alert here for Tears of the Kingdom, so skip forward this many seconds if you don't want to know, but it's also going to be all throughout this video. So good luck on that one. I am going to be incorporating some of the light dragon design, which is the new dragon in Tears of the Kingdom, into my Tears of the Kingdom Zelda cosplay, just because I think it's gonna hurt people emotionally, and that is what I'm best at with my cosplays. I also need to make a master sword for my Zelda cosplay, both for my Tears of the Kingdom Zelda cosplay and for my original design, Gerudo Vi Zelda, which I'll throw up on screen. She is what I'm going to be competing in in the Masquerade. I was originally thinking, what if I do Barbie? Because the Barbie movie just came out, but quite frankly, it's a very simple design. And I wanted to, I was debating competing in Zelda anyways at Fanime and I decided not to. So I was like, you know what, why not go on stage at Sack Anime with my silly little Zelda cosplay, show her off. And I feel like I kind of need the Master Sword for that cosplay. Otherwise it's not very recognizable. Um, so we need to make a Master Sword for that. But we also need to make two props for Nick for his Breath of the Wild Link cosplay. So we've got we've got a little bit ahead of us. Um, most of the cosplays are already done for that weekend, so luckily we're good on that. And after that, we need to work on our ALA cosplays. Because those aren't done. Those aren't even started. I don't know what I'm doing. So <laughs> we gotta get cracking. Today is August 1st. It is currently... 4 p.m. I have work in an hour, so I'm not gonna get any work done today. The first thing I need to do is clean my room and my workspace because both are an absolute mess from doing wig commissions for the past few weeks. And then I can start on my cosplays. So yeah, let's get started on that. Alrighty. I apologize for any fan noises you hear in the background because Quite frankly, it is too fucking hot out here to not have any sort of fan going. But you know what? That's life. Today is August 9th. I don't want to know what day I filmed the intro on. I don't want to know how many days it's been. Um, but we're outside. We are working. As you can see, this is my ceremonial dress. Zelda from Breath of the Wild that I believe I got from Mick Costumes a long time ago. Let's see what the temperature is outside because whatever it is outside, it's at least five to 10 degrees hotter in here. It is 95 degrees outside. I hate having an outdoor workspace, but here we are. We're, I'm looking into getting a different one. This is way too fucking hot, but sheds are expensive. This is my ceremonial dress. As you can see, you know, this skirt doesn't fit right. She needs some alterations, but she is going to turn into my Tears of the Kingdom Zelda. I'm sure you can see Raru up there. I will fully admit that when I saw Raru the first time in game, I screamed a little bit. Yeah, we're not gonna talk about that. Um, but yeah, so Ceremonial Dress Zelda is going to be turned into Tears of the Kingdom Zelda. I also need to do some alterations to my Gerudo Vi Zelda because she is what I'm competing in. Not Tears of the Kingdom Zelda, 
because why would I compete in Tears of the Kingdom Zelda? No, we're going to compete in a completely original design Zelda. Not to say there's anything bad with original designs. Honestly, one day maybe I'll compete with Tears of the Kingdom Zelda, but she's already done and I don't feel like competing in Tears of the Kingdom Zelda, which I'm probably going to rush. In here are some is some fabric. You can see a wig in there, that's for Feyre, because I need to restyle her wig. Feyre's pretty much good to go though, I just need to wait for her outfit to come in. But yeah, so we need to work on Zelda. I also have a pattern of the Master Sword. I got the pattern from Kamui Cosplay. I will link her product down in the description below. So I'm probably going to work on taping that together first and getting that cut out just so that I can see the dimensions. And then we're going to work on Zelda. Both. Zelda's because why not? Why the fuck not? So basically to start off right here, I am taping together the pattern that I got from Kamui Cosplay. I printed it out and obviously it has to fit on multiple sheets of paper. So here I am just taping that all together and then once it's all taped together, I will be cutting it out. I did this really slowly and carefully just to add a lot of precision and make sure that I got all the lines right. Here, I was just kind of testing to make sure that the sword was around the right length, but as you can see, it was kind of blowing away because of my fans. But it was a good length, so I decided to move forward into cutting the shape out of foam. Here you can see a little trick that my friend Jay taught me was to use a knife sharpener, like a normal knife sharpener you would have in your kitchen, and use it to sharpen your like razor blade in order to get like those nice clean cuts that you need with foam especially since those kinds of blades dull really, really fast when it comes it to is at the foam. At this point in time, I don't know, it's like seven o'clock at night where, oh, one of those went out. I had to go and get a mosquito candle because there's so many goddamn mosquitoes out here and I can't focus and I messed up on a cut because mosquitoes were attacking my face. So I'm having a great time if you couldn't tell. Anyways, I need to relight this now. And here you can see I am carving a shape down the center of the blade in order to fit in the metal dowel that I have in there. Um, it took a few tries in order to get it the right like shape in order to make sure that the dowel would fit snugly between the two pieces of foam, but I eventually got there. This is the part where I kindly remind you, safety first when cosplaying. Wear a respirator if you're using contact cement or any other harsh chemicals. I should also have gloves on, however, I ran out the last time I dyed my hair, so... Safety first, kids. So here you can see I am using contact cement in order to glue together the two pieces of foam that have the metal dowel inside of them. Um, fun fact, contact cement does not stick to metal because metal is not a porous material. So keep that in mind if you want to do, do kind of the same technique as me, that metal won't stick. However, I just used super glue afterwards and it was totally fine. So here I was cutting the inside layer of my ceremonial dress Zelda in order to make sure that that inside layer wouldn't show when I draped the outer layer in order to make those pleats that Tears of the Kingdom Zelda has within her dress. Um, it took quite a few tries to get these pleats right, so if it's not working, just be patient and just take the time that it needs in order to get those pleats right. So here I was beginning to trace the kind of inner portion where the blade curves onto the sword in order to sand it out later and ensure that it has that like nice point that a blade should have. And then once that was done, I went in with my razor blade and took off a bulk 
of that foam. Again, I was sharpening it with the kitchen knife sharpener in order to make it just a smoother cut in general, but I was taking off the bulk of that foam since right after I'm going to go in with my Dremel and really define those edges, but this just makes the process 10 times faster and way less messy. Today is August 19th. I believe we are two weeks out from SAC Anime, which means we have a lot to do in two weeks because it has been way too hot outside for me to feasibly work out here in this workspace, which means eventually I'm probably going to bring everything inside, but a lot of the stuff that I have to do, I need to do outside because toxic chemicals. Um, here. It's an update on the Master Sword. She is coming along swimmingly, actually. Um, all I really need to do is finish the handle and the little point at the very end and like clean up some seams with, you can, I don't know if you can see right here on the, on the hilt, but there's a little gap that I'm gonna fill in with foam play that I got yesterday. Um, but yeah, she's looking really nice. I am honestly really proud of myself for this because I am not a prop maker. I am do not make props often at all. So the fact that I've been able to bust this out pretty quickly is surprising to me and I'm also a little bit proud of myself. So, so it's August 19th. The goal for this weekend, since I have the weekend off again, is to finish the Master Sword or at least start painting it because painting is a task that can be like done over time in between other activities. So at least finishing all of the foam, all of the sanding, getting that as done as possible. And then really try to grind out Tears of the Kingdom Zelda since I really want to get the sewing as done as possible so that I don't have to worry about the sewing and all I have to worry about is the little like front piece that has all the stuff on it and her jewelry. And then I can focus solely on my Gerudo by Zelda and add a few more accessories to her, which I'm very excited to do. But yeah, that's my little update for right now. So let's get working and get this shit done. So here I am kind of marking out where I need to cut the PVC in order to make the handle of the blade and then I cut it with my Dremel and eventually I will fill in the PVC with foam play or like I'll wrap the metal dowel that you see with foam play in order to be able to slide the PVC over it and that just gets a hot glued on. Use hot glue when you can because it is one hell of a material to use. some really thin strips of two millimeter foam and I am super gluing that to the PVC pipe and wrapping it around in order to form that um, hilt pattern that the Master Sword has. And this just took some precision, but this was really, really easy. And this piece that you see me dremeling here is actually the piece that goes on the very, very bottom of the sword, like right at the hilt. However, my camera ran out of battery and overheated at the same time as I was filming this, so I didn't film much of this part. 
then here I was heat sealing all of the foam. You really want to make sure that you heat seal foam before you paint it just to close up as many of those pores as you can. And then here I am priming it with Plasti Dip. This is my first time using Plasti Dip. I am unsure how I feel about it. I kind of like it since it is a sandable primer, but I also wasn't very sure. And then here you can see I am starting to sew those green pieces that go on Cell Distress. And this was just me like double hemming the entire thing. And it was a lot of fabric to hem, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> And then here I am attaching those green pieces that you see to the white fabric on Zelda's dress. This was a very, very tedious process. August 23rd so we have well today is Wednesday so if timing goes right I am going to be driving up to Sacramento exactly a week from now which is kind of scary however I have been making better progress on everything than I thought I would so for example the master sword it's done. She needs probably just like a tiny bit of weathering and like shadows to add a little bit of depth. But other than that, she's like pretty much done. The only place I'd really add shadows is right here on the hilts just to give it a little bit more dimension. But the sword's done. Um, Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom Zelda is entirely sewn together. The only thing that I need to do is tack on the little like piece that goes right here and finish um, sanding and painting all of the pieces that go on top of that front piece and make her little headdress and earrings, which shouldn't be too difficult. I'm probably just gonna make those pieces out of Warbler so that they're a little easier to shape and I have plenty of Warbler that I can use. Um, I need to alter my favorite dress, but that is something that will take me probably maybe 20 minutes. And then after that, I think all I need to do is style wigs, which is kind of crazy. I was not expecting to get this much done so quickly, but here we are. And we're praying that we can get it all done today and this like by this weekend. If I can get everything that I need to get done by this weekend, aside from like maybe wigs, I will be very happy. So time to start working on everything. All right. And so here in this clip, I am sanding down the foam clay pieces that I made my Tears of the Kingdom Zelda like front piece out of. I don't really know how to explain it. You can see the picture there on the floor that I had molded all of the foam clay pieces out of, but I very quickly sanded all of them in order to get them a little bit smoother. And then I also painted all of them. Alrighty, and we are on to styling wigs. So this is my fairer wig. And first things first, I pin the wig onto the styrofoam head so it does not move. 
and then I start brushing it. I always start from the bottom and kind of work my way up in order to make it just a lot easier to brush out. That's always the way I kind of work with wigs is I start from the bottom and brush up. However, this wig was not as tangled as I expected it to be. And then what you see me pull out right there is silicone spray. Basically, I use it in order to help keep my wigs detangled. It makes it easier to brush them in the future. And then this next wig is actually my Barbie wig. And what you see me spraying all over it is a mixture of vodka and water because this wig had been sitting in my car since I went and saw the Barbie movie, which was about a month before I pulled it out. So I just sprayed vodka and water on it in order to both get out that little like weird lingering smell that was in there and to disinfect the entire thing. And this next wig is actually my Harley Quinn wig. So this is a new cosplay that I was bringing to Sack Anime just to wear for like day zero slash badge pickup. Um, this wig needed to be completely restyled because I got it off of Amazon and to be fair it was a pretty pretty good wig for being maybe $20 max. but. The entire process that I did with this wig is what I do with basically all of my wigs. I went through and went layer by layer and crimped the entire thing and then teased the crap out of it, brushed it back out, and I completely restyled it. And this is the part where I actually finished everything and that sheet of paper you see there is actually a packing list. So this was kind of my process of packing everything. I listed everything out costume by costume and kind of was checking things off as I grabbed them. And I put all of my accessories in a little Ziploc bags and then put that on the hanger with the cosplay itself. And you see my sister came in there with the dog and was having her give me kisses, which was very sweet. And then right here I have everything that is on the hangers that needs to go into the garment bags and you'll see as I put them in the garment bags I am spraying them all down with that water and vodka mixture just to really make sure that there is no smell left behind and that all of them are clean and ready for the con. So I went through every single costume and put them each in their garment bag. Right, so I just kind of wanted to show that I have everything packed. Um, this is my entire suitcase. It mainly just has my normal clothes. It has my axolotl onesie, which is kind of like a just-in-case thing to wear. Um, I'm going to put the rest of my makeup and the rest of my toiletries in this side. It has all of my wigs, my first aid stuff, all of that kind of stuff in this side. Onyx decides he wants to say hi. <laughs> um, I also have this box has my Zelda wig in it just to keep it safe because it is the one wig that is really, really styled and needs to stay styled. Um, I have my Nier Automata sword for Gracie and then I have my Master sword as well. This bag literally is just full of shoes because I have literally different shoes almost every single day and a pair of shoes for Gracie. And then in both of these garment bags are my cosplays. Obviously one fell over, but you get the gist, both of those actually have all of the cosplays in them and one of them Gracie is gonna be wearing, so I don't have to wear it. But yeah, this is what packing looks like.
And that is that. Thank you so, so, so much for watching my little con crunch prep vlog thing that I decided to do last minute as I was trying to con crunch for everything. Um, today is Tuesday. Whoa. Um, today is Tuesday, August 29th, I believe. And I leave for con tomorrow. Actually, I'm leaving two days early this time because Wednesday night I am spending the night with Nyx and then Thursday night we actually have the hotel room to get ready for Friday. Um, but yes, thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please do like and subscribe as I do plan on doing a full SAC anime vlog at the con and I am super, super excited. I am really looking forward to the masquerade this year with how well organized it is. If you saw my last SAC anime vlog, you know that I talked about how disorganized it was in the past and especially that last con and it really seems like they've upped their game this con so i'm really really excited but once again thank you so much for watching if you want to see my sack anime vlog it should be up pretty soon after this video i am hoping to get this one up right before con right before i leave simply because i want to make sure that i can focus on sack anime and not worry about uploading a con current vlog in the middle of con because i don't think that'd be very fun if you are going to Sack Anime and you want to keep up with me or if you simply want to keep up with my cosplay journey in general, these are my social media. I have posted on my Instagram and I will be posting on my TikTok my lineups for this con and I will be posting on my story every day as well in order to give updates on kind of where I am and what I'm up to. So thank you so much again for watching and I hope you enjoy. Bye!